Hey guys, so this video is going to be about mixing your tattoo pigments and um, very basic color theory. Um, I also wanted to show specifically that a lot of times it's not a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, like you don't want one drop of red plus one drop of yellow to make orange. You really want a lot more yellow. Um, I'll be using uh, Ala Prima pigments, dynamic white, and um, a single needle to mix with. Um, I always keep two boxes of these around, one, one box of singles to use and one box to mix with just because they're cheap. They're like 10 bucks for the box of 50. So these are my mixer. And it's about incredible Okay, so we're gonna start out with our primaries. I'm going to lay out the um, blue, red, and yellow in a triangle. I know it's exciting, right? And then we're going to put white all around the perimeter. I like mixing white with pretty much everything. Um, white and black are the most opaque. Well, black is ink. Black is the most opaque ink because it's ink. Um, white is the most opaque pigment that we use. So to uh, get anything more opaque, clearly you want to mix it with white to make it lighter. Okay, we're going to start here. I'm going to put five drops of red. I try to work in fives um, just to keep it uniform. So it's five to two or five to 15, something like that generally. Um, but a lot of these, I'm going to put five drops of yellow. Um, a lot of these will be five drops to one dip rather than a full drop, which means just dip the end of the needle into the color that you want. Get our needle out here. We're going to do one dip into the red, it's not even a full drop, into those five drops of yellow. And that's going to create a pretty nice orange for you. Um, it's, it's more of kind of a bright orange. It's the orange that um, I generally think of um, when I want to go for an orange. Same thing here. We're going to do one dip of blue into that red. Um, we'll probably need a bit more. I'm trying to make the, the darkest version here. And this will give you the kind of dark burgundy. So tattoo pigments don't mix exactly the same as paint does. It's similar as long as you know um, basic color theory and how to do things you can get where you're going but if you have experience mixing oil paint or acrylic paint, it's not going to be the exact same. It's going to be very similar. So now we got that deep, deep burgundy going on there. One dip of blue into the five drops of yellow. And we're going to get a nice bright green. Again, just the type of green that I think of going for. So that's that's the one that I shoot for most often is five drops of yellow to one drop of green, or not even a full drop of green, just a dip into the blue. And we're gonna take that burgundy out into a white, just to show you what that's gonna look like. It'll be a nice, very light purple. Well, it's a little pink, 
I'm going to add some more blue. It's not as dark as I hoped for. Just added a, another two drops of blue, actually, to the five drops of red, which will probably make it three drops of blue total after the, the two dips. Again, just trying to get it nice and dark. And we hit the white it was a little too pink. This is always an experiment when I lay a bunch of uh, ink caps out there. Certain things I know, basic formulas in my mind, but it's always a little bit of experimenting. Trying to get that real light purple. Now we've got five drops of um, yellow, and we're just going to do a dip into the green. Um, I probably should have pulled this back on the orange side because this is going to be more yellow than blue, but oh well, it's not what I did. Three drops of blue to the five drops of yellow. It's going to get us a nice deep grass green. A little more blue. So now we're one to one actually. Um, five drops of blue to five drops of yellow. And we're going over the top. We're going um, ten drops of blue to five drops of yellow. We're going to make it super dark. When you take this super dark green out to the white, you'll get a, uh, a nice sea foam green. Keep dipping back and forth until it becomes the color that you want. Okay, that's a pretty nice sea foam. Now we'll go to the uh, more lime green, have a much more yellow in it. And bring that out to the white. That'll give you the kind of uh, kind of a yellowy, yellowy white lime. I don't even know what to call that color, but I like it. I always mix everything with white just to see what it's going to uh, mix out into. I'm not going to do it this time, but uh, I also like to do um, grays. If I make two caps of something, I'll mix a little gray into it as well, kind of mute it out. Um, you can also mute out by using a, a color on the other side of the color wheel. Um, I just like to play with the grays. All right, we're going to do five drops of yellow to five drops of red. This is going to be the one-to-one -one comparison. And this doesn't really make an orange. It makes uh, more of a really bright red. 
Um, I, I actually kind of prefer this red to regular red. So what you would think would be orange, five red to five yellow, makes a nice bright red. And when you take that color out to white, you get a really nice um, kind of flesh tone pink. Um, I'm not great at mixing flesh tones, but I can get this one pretty consistently. Um, so five, one to one with red and yellow. Five drops of red, five drops of yellow, and then dip it out into a cap of white and you'll get a nice pinky flesh tone. Go into that original orange, which was much more yellow than red. Pull that out into the white and you'll get kind of a, a really yellowy orange. More of kind of a, a highlight color. I like mixing up all these odd highlight colors. I so said, just adding white to everything. Okay, so that was 10 drops of red. But also being honest with yourself, you know, and so I'm curious, like, when you think about honesty and transparency, especially as it relates to the content that you Five drops of blue. Where does it start? This is actually going to be the nice, super dark version that I was going for earlier. Again, the colors are going to be out of order because um, this, this dark one should have been higher in the color wheel, but it's just an experiment. This, when you bring this really dark mixture, really dark burgundy um, out to the white, you're going to get a nice soft purple. These purples are looking a little bit more on the pink side through the um, camera lens, um, but it's actually a, a nice shade of purple. I wish that would show what the color really looks like. But you can see in real life when you do the experiment for yourself. We're going to um, make another in between. Use Elmer's glue to, to put the uh, ink caps down. It holds them in place a whole lot better than the than the A and D ointment. Keeps my setup nice and steady. Okay, that's a that's a one to one. Um, five drops of red to five drops of blue and that's going to give us the kind of uh, violet it's a nice nice bluish violet Five drops of blue, two drops of red. And this is really just going to be um, 
a dark blue. Um, but what I like about this dark blue is when you bring it out to white, you get that kind of, uh, I don't know what to call it, the, the snowy kind of white. It's a I mean, snowy kind of blue. It's a really nice, soft blue. So five drops of blue, two drops of red, and then dip that out into a cap of white. I think Eternal has a actual color like that, snow blue or something like that. It's really pretty. We're just going to do that same. Oh, wait. I'm going to go for a really lime green with five drops of um, yellow to one drop of blue. That's going to give us a kind of a limey, kind of a darker army green, dark lime, I guess. Then you bring that one out to white just for fun. It's, it's not much different than the original kind of yellowy green when you bring that out to white. Five drops of yellow to one drop of red. Um, probably what I should have done for the original orange because this one's going to be come out a little bit darker than our first orange. Um, I tend to like the five drops of yellow to one dip of red rather than one full drop. That's almost double. Just seeing what it makes here. It's kind of a nice dark orange. Bring it out to white and get kind of the nice, a nice cream circle type color. Should have put some music on for you guys. I'm sure this is boring as shit. Unless you're working along with the video just for fun. We're going to do another dark version up here. Um, the first one just came out the really dark grass green, which works out to a nice... Um, sea foam when you do the white now we're going to go for a little more on the turquoise side so that's five drops of yellow and ten drops of blue Probably going to need more blue in that mixture to get a good turquoise. When you see my other hand come into frame, we're going to go ahead and add five other drops of blue. So this is going to be 15 drops of blue to five yellows. When you see my other hand come into frame, that's because um, my mixing hand is moving down the needle towards the desk. So I grab the top of the needle with the other hand to reposition my hand higher in order to go back down again. Just an inevitable part of mixing. Your hands will 
slide down like you're trying to set a fire. That's looking like a real nice dark turquoise. We're going to mix that down to white. That should give you a pretty nice light version of turquoise. The dark version could almost be called a super dark green. Um, but it is pretty blue when you put it in the skin. Just a couple of dips into our dark, our dark version. You just, um, you just have to keep going back and forth till you get the color that you like. A little too light, we're actually going to put a drop of blue directly in there. Two drops of blue. So 15 drops of blue to five drops of yellow. Mix that up nice and dark. When you bring that over to the white, add two more drops of blue into the white. Now you're going to get a real nice, pretty turquoise. It's a real light version of turquoise. That one took me years to figure out. I don't know why, but turquoise was just a mystery to me for a long time. Alright, so it's not a perfect experiment, but hopefully um, it'll inspire you to get out some ink caps and mix some pigment up. Play with it. Um, you don't need all these millions of bottles, primaries and white um, and black.